Um, but I, I think what's, what's really clear um, for anyone who's watching this space is just how enormous the energy demands from the data centers is, is becoming. Um, so I alluded to this before. I, I just got back from a uh, conference that was called Yada 2025, and they're basically talking about how do we get to like you know Yada watts or uh, Yada bytes of uh, of compute in in the in the longer term. Um, but it was it was super interesting because you know you had representatives from you know Oracle, Microsoft, OpenAI, um, all these all these hyperscalers talking about their plans and and how they're uh, you know essentially dealing with the energy shortage that we have as well as what they're seeing on the AI side. And, and I think my overall takeaway, if I can really simplify it, is like they have very aggressive like CapEx um, assumptions and, and build out plans because of, of uh, how much demand they, they thought they were gonna have. And pretty much all of them were saying, we actually need even more than our <laughs> previously uh, aggressive plan. Um, and what used to be the bottleneck a couple of years ago, which was like chip manufacturing, now very clearly the the, the, the bottleneck for uh, more deployment is uh, energy, um, and and a big piece of this. So so there's like the generation piece, energy generation, which is which is super key. Uh, but since we're talking about mega packs, I'll you know kind of talk about uh, one part of the way that data centers operate, which is uh, really tricky, and that's the the load profile of these these data centers is extremely wonky. Uh, 